All right, we're going to introduce this really cool uh, online website that I stumbled across. I'm sure it's been out there for a while, but the website is called nmrdb.org, nmrdatabase.org, and it's an online tool that allows you to input a chemical structure, and, and the tool will predict NMR spectroscopic information. And for us, that means proton NMR because we're focused on proton NMR. But it also does C13 NMR and it has some other tools to it as well. I mean, it's a really slick website. So we're on the home page of NMRDB.org and we want to click on predict H1 NMR, predict a proton NMR. And here comes uh, the web page that contains all the tools. Scroll down just a little bit. And you can see there's a, there's a lot of output windows. The main window that we're going to focus on those is the one on the left. And this is um, an interface where we can draw a molecule. So let's draw a really simple molecule. I'm just going to click on some atoms. This works a whole lot like ChemDraw. We have uh, different atom labels and different tools, rings, and bonds that we can use. And now I've drawn a nice simple structure. Let's simulate the spectrum. And now these different windows are going to be populated. And so here on the bottom right, we can see a full picture of our spectrum. And it runs from 0 ppm all the way up to 11 ppm. And those numbers can be adjusted here in the lower left. And we see a picture of our spectrum. Now I want to zoom in on, the, a lot of this is blank, so let's just zoom in. I'm just going to click and drag across this. And what we see is, is our spectrum. So here are the peaks that correspond to our molecule. Let's zoom in just a touch bit more. I can use the, the wheel on the mouse to make peaks bigger or smaller. Uh, taller or shorter and what you see is a spectrum so it gives us our x-axis the chemical shift we can see peaks we can see the intensity of the peaks in terms of integration and these are the numbers at the very top so this signal here corresponds to two hydrogens this has a relative integration of three and this this triplet over here also is three and you can see that as we hover over different peaks the corresponding information in the top um, outputs uh, gets highlighted so this is a really nice tool and interface. It's very flexible. We can draw whatever we want and predict an NMR spectrum and then interpret that NMR spectrum. So we'll use this particular website in a number of the videos that we're going to um, view about NMR spectroscopy. And I would encourage you to go on this website and kind of poke around and just see it. It's a great way to explore and think, hmm, what would happen if I put a chlorine on that molecule? What happens to the chemical shift? And you can see all these with this prediction tool. Now this doesn't mean this is exactly what the spectrum will look like. This is a prediction tool, but these are pretty high quality predictions and certainly good enough for us to learn trends in um, how molecules behave in an NMR spectrometer.